Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It is Thursday. It is the 18th day of April. It's Amateur Radio Day. That's what we're up to right here is Amateur Radio. <laughs> Actually, I think this is different than what they're really talking about. Uh, Adult Autism Awareness Day, International Day for Monuments and Sites, also known as World Heritage Day, National Animal Crackers I Day. Love animal crackers. We are celebrating that one in a big way we today. We are. Heidi bought some animal crackers. Uh, National Columnist Day, National Exercise Day, National Velociraptor Awareness Day. So be aware of Velociraptors. Uh, National Lineman Appreciation, Pet Owner Independence Day, and Pinata Day. All of those things happening on this Thursday. And we have a Dear John letter from Prom Mom. Uh, her son bought a ticket to the prom, but he needs encouragement to decide if he's going to go because he doesn't have a date. So if you would like to, you can chime in. Facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. Whether you have a credit card now and need a better credit card, or if you don't even have a credit card, but you'd like to get a good one, we would love to help at BetterCreditCards.com. We offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks, or a credit card to help you build your credit, we can help you find a good fit for you at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit at BetterCreditCards.com. BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Working the late shift as a young adult seems great. After all, it gives you all day to have fun. But a new study has found that a steady diet of night shifts and irregular schedules can affect your health decades later. New York University research determined that volatile work schedules in your 20s can lead to sleep issues and poor physical and mental health by age 50. <laughs> the same study found the traditional 9 to 5 to be the most protective health-wise over the yeah. course of your life. These working, uh, those working rather other schedules had poorer sleep quality and quantity. They're more likely to report feelings of depression almost 30 years yeah. later. Here's the thing. I used to work late nights all the time. Like that was a thing mm -hmm. for me. But I also had to get up early to be on the radio the next morning all the time. Mm -hmm. So I just got very little sleep. And look at me. I'm fine now. Oh, yeah. You're the perfect picture, picture of health over here. This is exactly. <laughs> this is what... When they're telling this is what you should strive for, they point at me and say, anything but that. <laughs> All right. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. So how do you like these gas prices? Not great, huh? How would you like to save money every time you get gas? I've been using this app for a few years, and it's amazing. You can find out more at Radiosavings.com. When I first heard about it, I didn't think we'd have this in our area. But they seem to have stuff all over the place. You can sign up for free and try it for yourself. They have savings on gas, but on many other things too, like restaurants and convenience stores. Try it for free at radiosavings.com. That's radiosavings.com. Did you know? Brought to you by genesisgoldira.com. Heidi, did you know that adhering to a keto diet improves severe mental illness? That's cool. A pilot study from Stanford Medicine, researchers there found that a keto diet not only restores metabolic health in a patient taking medication, it also improves their psychiatric conditions. Those living with conditions like schizophrenia or bipolar disorder often have uh, an antipsychotic medication that they take. While these drugs can actually save lives by regulating brain chemistry, they also contribute to problems with insulin resistance and obesity. Those were also put on keto reported improvements in their energy and sleep and mood and quality of life, making them feel, quote, healthier and more hopeful, end quote. That's lovely. That's very lovely. That's very, that very cool. lovely. I like that. <laughs> uh, we're kind of doing the keto, sort of. We, similar I, to, I do some keto recipes, yeah. but. It's keto-esque. It's a little keto-ish. It's keto plus. <laughs> I don't know. Well, we don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by Radiosavings.com. George Lucas, you ever heard of that guy? I have. Once he's a or filmmaker, twice. had a hit or two, Star Wars, Indiana Jones, you know, those things. Um, anyway, uh, he's going to be honored the Palm Day Or on May 25th in the closing ceremony of the 77th Cannes Film Festival. So that's kind of cool. I'm not familiar with what that is, but it's I'm an sure award. It's nice. It's a really nice award, and I think it gets like a. An air freshener with it. I have no idea. He, gets, he gets something, I'm sure. Amy Poehler and Nick Offerman. 
Uh, they were on a show called Parks and Rec. Yeah. Parks and Recreation. They had a weird thing that they would do every year, and it was always on the blooper reel. They would, if they made a mistake in a scene, they would uh, end that scene by making out. And people said oh. it was weird. It was like watching your aunt and uncle make out or something. So, <laughs> Heidi and I do that here. By the way. She is my wife, though. And after taking off the plastic fantastic world of Barbie Land, Margot Robbie is now headed for Monopoly. Yeah, her company really? is producing a live action feature film based on the real estate inspired board game. Oh, so, interesting. That'll be, be really interesting yeah, to see what they do with that'll that. That'll be interesting is a nice way to put it. <laughs> Big Screen, Little Screen, brought to you by Radiosavings.com. Do you have a mobile phone? How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mentorvention.com. That's Mentorvention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. According to Match.com, half of the women on there said that they research a man before they go on a date. The other half should. <laughs> Why would you not? Exactly. You're going to go on a date with some random guy. I'm just going to go. And you get there and you're like, oh, hey, I thought you'd be human. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out you're not. Why would you not? Wouldn't, wouldn't you think? I would assume everybody would. but Yeah. Maybe only maybe half only admitted half it. admit to it. Yeah. I have not been on a dating app ever in my life because I've, uh, like, I've been married to you longer than those have been a thing. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you right now, if I was on a dating app, I would absolutely research that person before <laughs> yeah. we met up. So. Yes. All right, and we'll move on to this next story. Take the good with the bad. The arrival of spring also means the arrival of spring cleaning. If you're like me, one big reason you dread starting is because of all the clutter. A new research here says it is a common concern. Do you dislike clutter, Heidi? Oh, you know I do. My nickname for her is Tidy Heidi because she's not I a fan of clutter. I cannot handle it. I... They did a survey, talked to 2,000 homeowners with garages in the United States. They found 40% <laughs> are afraid of facing the clutter in our homes. Another said, 82% uh, said they consider themselves to be organized, and they said they're feeling the mental load of keeping their home in check. Nearly half of respondents said that the organization of their home has an impact on their mental health, and 80% feel more motivated when their home is not cluttered. The most difficult area of the home to keep organized is the garage, followed by closets, followed by drawers. What say you, Heidi? Uh, at our house, it's definitely the garage because that's the only area that I let you have yeah. access to. Uh, my garage is currently <laughs> it's um, a nightmare. Ninety-two percent full, <laughs> which means I have room for eight percent more stuff. <laughs> so I'm getting back on marketplace as soon as we're done on the program. <laughs> Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Can your IRA or 401k stand up to the next financial crisis? By allocating a percentage of your retirement into physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover, you can diversify and safeguard your holdings from turbulent markets and economic downturns. Safeguard your assets with a tax-free rollover with a Genesis Gold IRA, the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Protect your retirement today with a simple phone call and receive your free gold and silver guide. Call 1-800-200-GOLD or visit GenesisGoldIRA.com. And it's time right now for Dear, Dear John, John Letters. Letters. Dear John. Dear John. Just notice something. We say Dear John Letters. There's only one. <laughs> it's time for Dear John Letter, which makes more sense. <laughs> All right, here we go. Dear John, help me give my senior son some encouragement. He bought a prom ticket, but is now hesitant to go. He attended winter formal without a date and got the courage to ask a girl to dance only to be told, ew, no. Aww. He suffers from severe eczema, psoriasis, and severe food allergies. Help my mama heart. I know if he doesn't oh, go, he will likely regret gosh. it. Do I just let it go? Signed, Prom Mom. I made up the name Prom Mom. Um, first of all, Heidi, what do you think? Uh, the question is, if, if he doesn't go, he will likely regret it. Do I just let it go? What do you think? Just let it go. I think I would let it go as well. If he if he doesn't want to go, it would be foolish for you to force him mm -hmm. to go. But if he's got friends that are going and he wants to go with some other people, there's nothing wrong with going in a group 
and going and doing your thing. And here's the thing. There's also nothing wrong with going on your own. If you go, hey, I'm confident enough that I'm going to do this. I'm going to go on my own. I will tell you this. Um, I know people who did not go to the prom, who did not regret not going to the prom at all. Like that just uh, it's not and their thing. T- especially boys. Yeah. Gu- guys typically don't. Get, that's more of a girl thing where yeah. they're like, oh, I never got to go to my prom. You never hear a guy saying, oh, I really wish I could have put on an uncomfortable tux and <laughs> spent the night in uncomfortable shoes yeah. and danced. Most guys don't even want to dance. Did you so. see my sister posted photos of her son at prom? Did I, you see how he was dressed? I did not. I love my my sister and her son dearly. My nephew. I've got several nephews. I love them all. Uh, but I would have put him in a headlock and dragged him back and made him change. Oh. He was wearing like sports shorts and a sweatshirt and his date was wearing a dress oh yeah that's not cool i was like what what is that all about yeah. and they're like oh that's what all the boys in his class did uh, i'm like why why that was not nice no. so all your prom photos are gonna be you guys dressed like idiots. right <laughs> like i just wow. don't get that that didn't make any sense to me apparently that's a thing so i guess you guys out there who know that's a thing just discovered i just discovered it so now you know john's not cool but no this young man shouldn't be forced to go yeah. if he doesn't want to go and if you feel like he really secretly wants to go then encourage him to yeah. obviously but because, I mean, he went and bought a ticket, so he must yeah. have wanted to on some level. But did he buy the ticket because he was being told he should buy the ticket, or did right. he buy it because he wanted to go? So, again, I don't and know if that. And if you feel as though he really, really does not want to go, you should plan something special with yeah. him for that evening. Exactly. Plan to go to a movie, go out for dinner, just go do something with him to help keep his mind off of the fact that Do he's... you remember your prom at all? Do you, do you yeah. like... You, you, well, you, you... kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking the wrong person. <laughs> My beautiful bride over here. <laughs> she used to find ways to to do uh, was, drinking and stuff. It's a very creative child. So yeah, yeah. Maybe you don't don't do that. But, <laughs> um, so I'm probably asking the wrong person. But I'll tell you my personal memories of prom. I remember going to prom, but I don't really remember much of it. So it it wasn't. It, if I had to write down my top ten best memories in my life, that wouldn't be on there. If I, oh top no, 50, for sure, wouldn't be on there. Top a hundred. Probably May, still wouldn't be on there. I don't know. I don't, I don't think it would even be on that list. Yeah. So uh, for me personally, if I missed out on that, woo hoo, who yeah. cares? But again, maybe you know, like your results may vary. You might look back and go, "That was the best night right. of my life," you know. And if usually, if that was the best night of your life, it's probably because the person You're not you were doing there life with right now. No, but but here's the thing. It's usually because the person you were there with is somebody that you were in love with and maybe even ended up together. And now we went to the prom and now 30 years later we're married with kids. If he's not in that situation anyway, it's probably not going to be the same no. for him. Yeah, exactly. So at the end of the day, the questions that you have, um, I know if he doesn't go, he will likely regret it. Do I just let it go? I think the answer for me personally is you let him decide. Yep. Let it Again, go. at the end of the day, if he wants to go, find a way because to make Because here's, that here's the other side of that. If you talk him into going, convince him into going, and he has another bad experience like he had yeah. at the winter formal, then, then he's going to be upset with you. Yeah, you don't want that at all. All right, you can chime in with your advice at facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. Whether you have a credit card now and need a better credit card, or if you don't even have a credit card, but you'd like to get a good one, we would love to help at bettercreditcards.com. We offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks, or a credit card to help you build your credit, we can help you find a good fit for you at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit at bettercreditcards.com bettercreditcards.com fun fact for you heidi what's that john when taking a warm shower people experience increased dopamine flow which leads to more creativity that's why you have great ideas while you're in the shower i i really don't have you great don't? ideas when i'm in the oh, shower oh i do all the time I'm like oh hey so. i have an idea I should get some shampoo and put Maybe it in my hand maybe it's just guys cuz women have too much to do in the shower <laughs> i don't know Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Our brain is our fattest organ, composed of nearly 60% fat. Hmm. Hmm. I got fat all over, so I don't know about that. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Some people never develop fingerprints. Yeah, these people really? should take up rubbing banks. Huh. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In 1834, ketchup was made with a mix of fish and mushrooms. Yeah. 
1834. Ew. Now it's, you know, tomatoes and stuff. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? There is a Cinderella story in Finnish folklore, but the girl's name is not Cinderella. Her name is Tuna. T-U-N-A. Tuna. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Tuna. Fun. Several fun facts. <laughs> now you know. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. So how do you like these gas prices? Not great, huh? How would you like to save money every time you get gas? I've been using this app for a few years, and it's amazing. You can find out more at radiosavings.com. When I first heard about it, I didn't think we'd have this in our area. But they seem to have stuff all over the place. You can sign up for free and try it for yourself. They have savings on gas, but on many other things too, like restaurants and convenience stores. Try it for free at radiosavings.com. That's radiosavings.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way courtesy of Mintervention.com. Studies show, Heidi, that you're more likely to have nightmares if you do this. What is it? If you eat right before bed. No, if you sleep in the nude. Yeah. Oh. If you sleep in the nude, you have a better chance of having but, nightmares. Wait a minute. We've talked about how many times stories where they've said if you sleep in the nude, you have better quality sleep. Oh, better quality sleep, but uh, nightmares too. <laughs> That's not better quality <laughs> sleep. We have a nightmare. I have no idea. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Do you have a mobile phone? How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Police in Scotland say uh, a reported armed man at a train station turned out to be a Star Wars cosplayer is on, a, on his way oh, to a convention. No. The man was dressed in his Imperial Stormtrooper costume <laughs> with a Scottish twist, a kilt, <laughs> when he boarded a train in the Aberdeen station. Again, this is in Scotland. The train returned to the station shortly after, and the man was approached by guards who escorted him to a waiting police car. That's when he learned that he had been reported for carrying a firearm on the train. He explained to the police, uh, this blaster is a plastic prop. They took him home so he could get a bag for the blaster so he wouldn't alarm train passengers. And he was asked not to wear his stormtrooper armor on the train in the future. So, Okay. Really? People, people looked at the stormtrooper and thought, hey, this is a real thing. That man has a gun. <laughs> I don't know if you know stormtroopers, but you they don't have to worry about him anyway. hitting you. So. <laughs> I've never seen one hit their target ever. <laughs> All right. Weird news. Brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Slang words that Gen Z is now using. These are people born from 1997 through 2012 for the plot. So if you're doing something for the plot, it means you're doing it just for the experience. Okay. So there's no reason, just because. I've never heard that one um, before. Riz. So that's from Charisma. Yeah. That was from last year. Ick is like if it's a turnoff, you just say it's an ick. Uh, rent free. If somebody's living rent free in your mind, like if you can't quit thinking that's of that's not them. new. No, yeah, that's what they're they're claiming. They they pounded a stake in that. So oh, that's please. ours. Please. Eight A T E. If a person ate, they executed something flawlessly. So okay, I did. How'd you do? I ate it. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Left no crumbs. Uh, that's like if you did so well that you you ate it so well. Bussin or bus means very good. Uh, like good food. How is it? Oh, it's bussin. Okay. Mid, that's when something falls short. Is it good? Eh, it's mid. Lock in <laughs> is another one I like to focus. Let him cook means don't don't stop him from doing whatever they're doing. Sus means suspicious. Mm, I knew and delu is short for delusional. So okay. I hear all of these all the time. I wondered what they meant. So <laughs> I've many never heard bizarre most of things them. there. <laughs> the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Can your IRA or 401k stand up to the next financial crisis? By allocating a percentage of your retirement into physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover, you can diversify and safeguard your holdings from turbulent markets and economic downturns. Safeguard your assets with a tax-free rollover with a Genesis Gold IRA, the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Protect your retirement today with a simple phone call and receive your free gold and silver guide. Call 1-800-200-GOLD or visit genesisgoldira.com. Now your quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of radiosavings.com. Our quote today is from Anonymous. Two Anonymous in a, in a row. We had an Anonymous quote yesterday. 
Anonymous today, it says somebody that uh, was commenting on film director Orson Welles, but they didn't catch the person's name. They just heard him say this. There but for the grace of God goes God. So when Orson Welles was walking by, they were referring to him as God, apparently. Okay. Uh, (laughs) Thanks for that quote. (laughs) Appreciate it. Quote of the day comes your way. I wouldn't want to admit to that one either. Yeah, they probably had their name on it, and they went over like, yeah, call me anonymous. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of radiosavings.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. I think this is good news. It's great news, actually. Comes your way courtesy of genesisgoldira.com. Take a listen to this headline, Heidi. This comes from Wisconsin. Happy ending. After 11 years in a shelter, a dog finds love and family. Oh, 11, 11 years. years. Heartwarming tale unfolded for a senior dog who endured 11 oh, long years in an overcrowded Alabama animal shelter. Fiona finally received some good news that she deserved. In March, the senior pooch made a life-changing journey to Wisconsin, where she finally got to meet her forever home, the, the owners of her, her forever home. Albert's Dog Lounge, a foster-based dog rescue service, shared the heartwarming update on Facebook, declaring, Fiona has found her happily ever after. The post was accompanied by a heartwarming photo and video capturing Fiona's joy with her new place. Uh, I think this is really cool. 11 years. Yeah, her guardian That's that shared dog's whole life. Her emotional reaction with the TV station who did this, a deep sadness upon learning of Fiona's lengthy stay at the shelter. I saw her story online. I was so overwhelmed with sadness that she was in the shelter for so long. It was just so sad to me and I thought, "Oh my gosh, we could have we could have the best life together." So that's when they said, let's let's get her Aww. in a completely different state, mind oh, you. Oh, I love that. Filled with compassion and a desire to pr- provide Fiona with the love that she deserved, they embraced the opportunity to give Fiona the best life possible. Fiona's new home includes a big yard, dog siblings, owners who plan to give her the best last years of her life. Oh, gosh, said, we already so love her sad. and we'll take the best care of her, they said in an update. And I think it's really, really cool. There's a, a link to all of the details if you'd like to see them in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Thursday.